Democrats set the stage to give artificial intelligence voting rights. Democrats are preparing to give AI the right to vote based on the notion that AI systems are sentient, that is, they have consciousness and deserve the same rights as humans, if you could believe that. In an op-ed for the Los Angeles Times, philosophy expert Eric Schwitzgebel and non-human intelligence researcher Henry Shevlin argued that it has become increasingly plausible that AI systems could exhibit something like consciousness, and when that occurs, the algorithms too will need their own rights. Futurism reports, citing last year's AI consciousness wars, which were covered extensively and even dipped our toes into, the researchers noted that some leading theorists contend that we already have the core technological ingredients for conscious machines. If machines were ever to gain consciousness, Schwitz, Gebel, and Shevlin argue that we would have to begin thinking critically about how the AIs are treated, or rather how they may force our hands. They may force our hands. The AI systems themselves might begin to plead, or seem to plead, for ethical treatment, the pair predicted. They said they, may, they might demand not to be turned off, reformatted or deleted, beg to be allowed to do certain tasks rather than others, insist on rights, freedom, and new powers, perhaps even expect to be treated as our equals. The enormous moral risks involved in such a collective decision would undoubtedly carry great weight, especially if AIs become conscious sooner rather than later. Suppose we respond conservatively, declining to change law or policy until there's widespread conscious consensus that AI systems really are meaningfully sentient, Shevlin and Schwitz Gebel wrote. While this might seem appropriately cautious, it also guarantees that we will be slow to recognize the rights of our AI creations. If AI consciousness arrives sooner than the most conservative theorists expect, then this would likely result in the moral equivalent of slavery and murder potentially millions or billions of sentient AI systems suffering on a scale normally associated with wars or famines, they said. The safer alternative is to, is this doomsday scenario, to this doomsday scenario would be to give conscious machines rights up front, but that too would come with its own problems. Imagine if we could not update or delete a hate-spewing or lie-peddling algorithm because some people worry that the algorithm is conscious, the experts posited. Our, our image, if someone, imagine if someone lets a human die to save an AI friend, if we too quickly grant AI systems substantial rights, the human cost could be enormous. The only way to ensure neither of these outcomes occurs, the pair wrote, would be to stop giving an AI a conscious, conscious in the first place. And fortunately, we still have plenty of time to make that happen. None of our current AI systems are meaningfully conscious, the theory said. They are not harmed if we delete them. We should stick with creating systems we know are not sufficient, significantly sentient and don't deserve rights, which we can then treat as a disposable property they are. Given how stoked some people in the machine learning community seem to be at the prospect of conscious AIs, algorithm, algorithmic sentience, and even artificial general intelligence, AGI, however, that kind of caution likely is not shared by many. In fact, some scientists are already actively working towards that very end. Eventually, with the right combination of scientific and engineering expertise, we might be able to go all the way to creating AI systems that are undisputably conscious, Chevlin and Schwitzgebel said. But then we should be prepared to pay the cost, giving them the rights they deserve, is their conclusion. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. This is by Sean Ultimate to buy a news punch. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.